The 1797 Sumatra earthquake occurred at 2200 local time on February 10. It was the first in a series of great earthquakes that ruptured part of the Sumatran segment of the Sunda megathrust. It caused a damaging tsunami that was particularly severe near Padang, where a 150 to 200 ton English ship was driven 1 km inland up the Arau River. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Background The island of Sumatra lies on the convergent plate boundary between the Indo-Australian plate and the Eurasian plate. The convergence between these plates is highly oblique near Sumatra, with the displacement being accommodated by near-pure dip-slip faulting along the subduction zone, known as the Sunda megathrust, and near-pure strike-slip faulting along the Great Sumatran Fault. The major slip events on the subduction zone interface are typically of the megathrust type. Historically, great or giant megathrust earthquakes have been recorded in 1797, 1833, 1861, 2004, 2005, and 2007, most of them being associated with devastating tsunamis. Smaller but still large megathrust events have also occurred in the small gaps between the areas that slipped during these larger events, in 1935, 1984, 2000 and 2002. Topic. Damage The earthquake caused the collapse or damage of many houses. The tsunami surge drove an English sailing ship of 150 to 200 tons, moored in the Arau River, about one kilometre inland, destroying several houses as it went. Smaller boats were driven up to 1.8 kilometres upstream. In Air Manus, the whole town was flooded and the bodies of several people who had climbed trees to escape the surge were found the next day in the branches. Only two fatalities were reported from Padang itself but many more from Air Manus. The Batu Islands were also reported to be affected. Characteristics Earthquake The shaking at Padang lasted one minute. Reports in 1845 and 1847 said either that this was the strongest earthquake in the memory of the residents of Padang or the strongest for 40 years. <laughs> Tsunami The run-up of the tsunami at Padang and the village of Air Manus is estimated to be in the range of 5 to 10 meters. Modeling of tsunami effects using source parameters estimated from the uplift of coral microatolls provide a reasonable match to the sparse historical records. The tsunami reports for this event are localized around Padang and it has been suggested that the tsunami may have been caused by an underwater landslide triggered by the earthquake. Topic: See also List of earthquakes in Indonesia List of historical earthquakes List of historical tsunamis <laughs>